Hey there guys, my name's Abo and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, items I use to um, use on the mob farms. For example, we, when you find the uh, mob spawners in the caves and you're wondering what to do, here's a few things that I use which I find is really good and always helpful. Instead of jumping in, killing them each time to get the XP, these next few, which I'll show you, come in handy. So as you see, most of the um, cave ones start off like this. Obviously, I've just used zombies in all of these. There will be the skeleton, um, the zombies, as I said, and the cave spiders and the normal spiders. But for instance, I'm just using the zombies for now. So as you can see, this is one of the basic uh, caves which you'll end up finding. Um, obviously apart from the mossy stones and a few chests um, yeah that's sort of how they look so by going over to this one this one here is a basic one uh, which I've made uh, really easy just basically make the um, hole or the area slightly bigger place four um, water buckets in each corner so it flows to the center of the map and then obviously you have a hole which they'll all drop down to and then land up down here where you can get your XP and the mob uh, parts that drop down as well so in this next one again is the one I use quite regularly is the ones with magma blocks you place on the, as the floor as you've seen just now they will spawn on there they start burning to death by standing on the magma and then they'll just die. But underneath is the contraption, what captures everything. As you see, we've got the powered rails, followed by the redstone blocks and the normal rails for the bends. And they literally go back and forth, all the way up to the chests, where it drops everything off. This is how the um, trap works. There you go. So they'll die normally they'll leave their items on the top which then the um, cart underneath with the hopper um, collects everything and sends it into the chest so the next one is if you find one near to the surface um, of the map as you can see here the easiest way i found is by digging down um, and getting the soul sand and then blows them up onto there so again really simple uh, dig down a couple of blocks have like a row of water just pushing them down um, so they drop down into one deep or two deeps depending on what you want to do have another water flow which pushes them down to the soul sand I've put the mine uh, one of the villagers in here to help the zombies and go towards them to go up into the um, above world yeah I'm sorry all right I'll let you out later so as you can see they will all shoot up and come across the top land down there again by having the chest and a couple of hoppers underneath you can just kill them um, obviously again still gaining all your XP points but all the items that they drop just go straight into there nice. right so the next one I've made I'll see this one's I, I will before I go any further this one would be ideal for the zombies or um, the skeletons um, again the spiders I wouldn't recommend the best one for probably spiders um, again would be this one here um, because they land on it and they'll die Obviously, some of the times the spiders will go up into the corners, but they got to come down eventually, eh? Right, so the next one is um, one I like to make for creating the drowns. So it's pretty much the same as the, the second one, where it flows the water down. As you can see there, it pushes them down in here. One little ramp pushes the water down. They land down here. And as you can see, with the water pushing them down, they then become drowned. 
again, it's absolutely brilliant for the points and everything else. I seem to have quite a few there. Anyhow, there's a few died, and the majority of the stuff that you'll end up getting. As I said, this one's brilliant if you want to collect the drowned. And then one for the spiders, as I'm sure some of you are probably wondering how, is you can just get a basic one like this. Instead of having like the water pushing them, or you can or even have the water pushing them down towards this. And you just literally have the stone walls and then you have the the fence and then the stone wall again. And the advantage with this one is once you kill them you can walk in, but the spiders can't get out. So that's one I like to use, especially for the cave spiders. They are an absolute nightmare, especially when they poison you like they do, or if you get too close to their spawners, they'll all just attack you, especially when the cobwebs are around. But with this one, it's easy enough just to stand inside or outside the fence and just hit them with your sword. And then just literally, once they're all dead, just go in, collect all your XP, and all the items they drop. Yeah, so. So, this was only a short little video, but I hope some of these um, techniques or designs will help you out in your survival world. If they do, don't forget to uh, leave a little comment. Let you know, well, let me know what you think of them. So, until next time, guys, I've been Avo. These have been the uh, Zombie and Drowned and Spiders.